About a week ago, I took my son Remy to one of my cancer survivor meetings to try to give him a better understanding of uh, uh, what my disease is all about, which is CCL, which is chronic lymphatic leukemia. And uh, to mildly explain what it does, it's kind of like Pac-Man. It's the red blood cells eat the white blood cells. This is the most dreaded part of the day right here is uh doing my blood sugar and uh sometimes it's uh can be a little a bit tiresome here but uh let me get my meter on here and uh get me a strip out so i can take my readings and uh of course, I gotta sanitize the finger that I'm gonna prick today. And then, of course, hit it with the old pricking meter. And as you can see, and then I go back, put my thing in, and then my meter. And as you can see, my blood reading is 162, which is not bad, but it could be better. Anyway, I got to clean up, and uh, that's how I start my day to find out where my blood pressure is and what my sugar readings are. So uh, anyway, it's simple, but uh, sometimes it can be a little painful. Uh, my vitamin uh, D and uh, uh, smaller pills for my arthritis, the largest pill is for my uh, blood sugar. And I took two other pills prior, which I can take before I eat, which was for sugar and for pain. So, uh, and some of these I take twice a day, but uh, overall, you know, it's what I got to do in order to be healthy. So down the hatch. Most people uh, go through depression. Most people don't want to discuss uh, a chronic disease if they have it, especially if the word cancer is attached to it. So basically, to me, it's my life. And if I could discuss about going Watching the football game this week, I can discuss about how I feel about cancer. That's off by calling and checking on my appointments and trying to make sure that my day don't go by and I don't do the things that I need to do. Now, some mornings I get up, I feel great. Some mornings I get up, I'm really fatigued. But uh, for the most part, if I can get up and get out, I'm, uh, I'm okay. And it uh, seems like once I start my day, you know, uh, I'm usually uh, pretty good with it. And then that usually gives me a general idea of uh, where I'm going to be going in terms of uh, how I'm going to plan my day nutritionally, nutritionally wise, medicine wise, and etc. And uh, so all I can say is like someday I have a great day, and then some days there extremely difficult to get out of the house. But I read an insert in a cancer survivor book, uh, Life After Cancer, and a lady once stated that uh, when she have a bad cancer day, she just pull the cover back over her head and uh, rest for a few more minutes and uh, look at it from a different perspective. And uh, most of the times that two, three minutes that you take to uh, reevaluate can determine whether you're going to get out of the door for the day. I got my sidekick over here, my granddaughter, come and help me out. And uh, no matter how bad I feel when Miss Julia comes around, it changes my whole perspective about living. So uh, there's a lot of little things that you can uh, incorporate in your life that. Uh, can help you get around cancer, but uh, 
anyway, this is just my approach. And uh, trust me, I have difficult days where uh, I have a problem with faith. I have a problem with, uh, you know, why me? I have a problem with all of those things that uh, just pisses you off. And it's like, uh, well, hey, why not me? And like I say, maybe this is my destiny to help someone. I wake up in the morning and uh, I look at it from this point of view that there are a lot of people worse off than me. And uh, I look at myself as just being a rookie in this cancer game. And I'm going to learn everything that I possibly can. So however long my life expectancy is, I'm going to try to give back as much as I possibly can. I like my way of, of uh, giving myself a, a reason why I should uh, take my day as a, as a cancer patient uh, seriously. Uh, one of my favorite views from this bay when there is uh, the junkyard that adjacent across the street from my apartment, it, uh, it just reminds me of... Uh, those are cars that are still, unfortunately, some are missing parts, accidents, etc. One second, Julia. Yeah. And, uh, but with a little bit of work, the right parts, the right mechanical pieces, those cars can run again. So uh, I look at my life when I wake up in the morning that uh, there's always going to be a continuation of uh, fighting cancer, and each day, I get up and I add that part that gets me out into the world and allow me to do the things that I want to do in a normal way. So I'm just really thankful. To the original subject of the interview of uh, uh, where I intend to move forward, uh, I hope through the grace of God that they come up with a cure or whatever uh, avenues that I take in terms of uh, trying to heal, whether it's a uh, stem cell, whether it's uh, bone marrow transplant, or whether it's chemo, or whether it's high intensity uh, clinical trial medicines. But uh, I do expect to be around, you know what I mean, to see Remy graduate from high school, college, get married and possibly be at the hospital for the birth of my first grandson through uh, my youngest son. So uh, I'm optimistic. I don't have any doubt that I'm going anywhere anytime soon, but then it's always in the back of your mind that cancer is exactly what it is, you know. It is something uncontrollable, unidentified that can take over your body at any point and at any time. And uh, you can be healthy today and, and uh, unhealthy tomorrow, but uh, I'm optimistic that uh, it's all going to work itself out and uh, I'm going to live a, a pretty long, uh, prosperous life and uh, have the opportunity to see the things that most people uh, take for granted, to see uh, your kids, your grandkids play. I mean, see your daughters get married, see your sons get married, you know, enjoy your grandkids. So uh, if the one thing that I've learned through this experience that uh, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every year of your life uh, should be important to you because uh, you never know when your time is up. And in closing, uh, all I know is uh, I'm going to beat this. And uh, the next time me and Remy collaborate on a cancer uh, video, it'll be one where uh, my cancer is in remission and uh, we can raise our hands up and, uh, you know, and he can walk around proud and say my father is a survivor. You know what I mean? He healed himself from cancer.